be good or kind to your parents. Notice Allah didn't say obey your parents because obedience is for Allah. Your parents, if they were to tell you something within the obedience of Allah, it's okay. But some parents, they are human as well. They make mistakes. They do things that perhaps are not correct sometimes. They might be abusive. They might be wrong. Allah says, you don't have to listen to them when they are wrong, but you have to be kind to them whether they are right or wrong. You have to respectfully disagree with them when they are wrong. You have to kindly excuse yourself when they're asking you to do something wrong. So Allah says, remember to be kind to your parents. I think this is a powerful lesson because people mix obedience and kindness. Many parents say, you have to obey me because Allah instructed you to obey me. That's wrong. Allah did not instruct us to obey our parents where they are wrong, where they are being unreasonable, where they are being un-Islamic, ungodly. No, Allah says be kind to them, smile and disagree. Subhanallah, many parents themselves have issues they need to deal with. Many parents themselves don't have a good relationship with Allah yet. So how do they expect Allah to be pleased with a child who will obey an instruction that's against the commands of Allah? Allah tells the child here, be kind to your parents, be respectful to your parents, but you don't have to be obedient when they are telling you to do something wrong. As simple as that. So the list starts with Allah, it moves on to parents, then Allah says, وَبِذِي الْقُرْبَى Then be kind to your relatives. Be kind to the orphans, be kind to the poor and the needy, be kind to your neighbors, be kind to the ones who live next to you and those who are with you, next to you at all times and the wayfarer. The wayfarer meaning a stranded person, a person on the streets, a person who has no abode, a homeless person, a person who's trying to get from point A to point B but they're stranded. Allah says be kind to all of these people and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says he doesn't like those those who are arrogant, those who are haughty, those who uh, are disobedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So remember, if we would like goodness and kindness, if we would like comfort, be kind and respectful to the following categories. Your parents, then your relatives. Even if they are nasty people, what's stopping you from being kind and respectful, even though you might keep a bit of a distance? No harm in keeping a distance, but be respectful. And then Allah says, be kind to the orphans, be kind to the beggars, the poor, the needy, be kind to your neighbors, make sure that you're very, very good to your neighbors. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. And then he says, be kind to Ibn sabil a wayfarer, a person who's lost, a homeless person. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us develop this kindness so that we can achieve comfort.